And you said this is like this album is your most honest. Yeah, very much. Yeah. I mean, my first was as well. Back to Bedlam sure. was because I didn't know anyone would ever hear it. <laughs> um, but, and then when I did have success, then you kind of I, I started holding a little bit back. Right. But on this album, just some things have happened that I've really needed to write about. My dad's not been very well mm -hmm. um, and I've had a new little young family mm. and I go away on tour a lot for 18 months at a time and I leave my wife to pick up the pieces mm. of that. And so I've really had inspiration. Exactly. And it's those kind of things, it's those kind of emotions, I think, that really resonate with other people because they can totally identify with you because we've all been in that situation, yeah, haven't exactly we, sadly? That. And you, you need, and it's, but it's sometimes difficult to articulate that. When you played that song to your dad, because there's a song in there that you play to your dad, Monsters. He tapped his feet slightly out of time, oh. um, put his hand on my knee, said, so true. Um, and then oh. finished and we went back to normal conversation afterwards. Oh, but that, I mean, again, you know, that, that, that sort of bond that the two of you have got, because he's not well. He's not yeah, well. He, How's he doing, actually? Um, my father, he has chronic uh, kidney disease, but actually, remarkably, uh, a couple of people have come forward and offered him a kidney, and we, wow. we th we're pretty sure we found a match. Fantastic. And I'm touching lots of words um, that we good. might be in a, in a good place. Oh, I hope so, I hope so, because that's a nightmare, when, when you can't get a match in the family and then you've got to go yeah. outside and it's so But hard. it has been an amazing experience along right. the way because of people's stories that they've come and told me yeah. about their own relationships. Um, and I got to shoot a video with my father, which um, so I've got him on film now, which is amazing. Oh, that's fantastic. It, it really is, and it, it means a lot. And I know that, again, you're going to be helping out the armed forces with this too. Yeah, so, so the, yeah, the proceeds from Monsters, the song, are going fantastic. to help the heroes and the British Legion. And, and it was because I, I got to play it in the, in the Albert Hall. You did the Festival of Remembrance in front of Her Majesty. Yeah, <laughs> and in front of all of the um, you know, soldiers yeah. and some bereaved families. And, it, and my dad was in the audience too. And it, for me, it was probably the most amazing performance of my life. Life. I don't know how you get through that without crying. It's like really, I mean, do you, is, do you have a technique where you try not to get too emotional? I think uh, when you've got, when you, I think when with the soldiers watching you, there's no oh, way I'm going to start crying. No, that's no. true. You would get into a lot of bother. <laughs> that's not going to no. happen. That's not going to happen at all. Do you know what? I didn't know you were such a good pal of Carrie Fisher's. Yeah. I did not know that. Obviously, Princess Leia. That every, I mean, she's the godmother to one of your kids. Yeah, totally. How did that friendship come about? Because I really, really like her. She, she was a proper character. Amazing um, person, and, and it's a much sadder world without her in it. Yeah. Um, but I met her in a, in a restaurant through, music, through mutual friends, and she said, what do you do? And I said, I've, I've got a record deal, I've just left the army, I'm moving to Los Angeles. Right. Uh, and she said, where are you living? And I said, I don't have a place yet. And she said, you know what, you're going to live with me. Seriously? Absolutely. And, uh, and my first album's called Back to Bedlam because of the kind of the madness of her house. Yes. Um, and, uh, oh, I and, saw it in a documentary, it looked fantastic. Yeah, an Amazing. incredible human being. Oh. And so on this album, I have um, the Prozac pill, that is the Carrie Fisher Prozac pill, anyone who follows her will know of, and there's one Indeed. copy I have at my home, um, and, uh, and yeah, and it's on my album as, oh. a, as a kind of memory to her. That's really lovely, that's really good. I'm, I'm glad you had a chance to get to know her. Yeah. She's one of those people I just think was, you're right, the world is a, a sadder place without someone like that. She, yeah. she paddled her own canoe, James. <laughs> she really did. She really did. She absolutely did. Yeah, well, did. she was very open and forthright about her difficulties and problems. She was. And lots of people, I think, um, were inspired by her. Very much that. so. Long before anybody talked about mental health issues, she was talking about all that that was going on. You... One thing I really admire about you is the way that you handle trolls on Twitter, because Twitter can be a very dark and nasty place. Yeah. And you get some stick, but you do it with... Well, you're just clever, the way that you turn yeah. it round. And, well, everyone gets stick, and, you know, you, you've oh, said it's that horrible. You, you've had it before, and I think horrible. you of all people shouldn't be getting <laughs> stick, and it, it's <laughs> amazing. And Twitter can be a really... Well, social media generally, people can mm. be just horrid to each other, and I think the best... The best solution probably is to take our phones and, and just put them down or throw them out of the window. <laughs> but yeah, I do. I go on and I laugh, not just at them, but I laugh at myself I for see, taking them the seriously. Because we, we shouldn't be focusing on this one negative when there are exactly. masses. I'm going on tour from February and, and, you know, what, thousands of people, tens of thousands of people are getting tickets. Why, am I, why aren't I focusing on I know. the positives it's rather true. than the one negative? It just you're seems to be human nature. So, so right. Now, look, you're touring, as we said. Will you, if you get the call, would you be singing at Princess Beatrice's wedding? Because I know they're, they're sort of pals. <laughs> you can't do well, If she asks. Um, do you know, I'm, I'm probably better suited to play funerals, aren't I? No, um, my music's, no, you know, a bit of misery. A, no, it's not. Sells. No, <laughs> it doesn't. No, the songs, they can, they can be... Yeah, I, I know what you're saying, I hear you. But at the same time, though, they're uplifting as well. So... Emotional. Emotional. Yeah. From the heart, James. That's Thank the thing. So From the heart.